Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at Python in Grasshopper. So, uh, what we're gonna do is we have the uh, Rhino open, obviously Grasshopper as well. And we're going to focus more on Grasshopper only today. So, in order to get Python uh, for Grasshopper, you need to download the Grasshopper Python script on Food for Rhino. It's rather easy to get. And, um, let's write this down quickly for you. Food for Rhino, I think it's .com. And with that, you can download the Python script. It looks like this. It comes like in this shape form, and you can basically add outputs or um, add more inputs. So what's interesting about it, it basically adds the option to directly uh, interface with the, the Python scripts in your Grasshopper interface. Uh, by doing that, <coughs> you just need to press double click on it, and another window will pop open like this. It will like if we put it here beside. It will be also over the um, window here, like here, and everything is basically set up fine. And what is interesting to see, you have like this import Rhino script syntax SRS that basically imports the material library um, or the library of things that you need to use in Rhino or in Grasshopper from the Rhino things. So for example, if we use the command, for example, rs dot add circle, and then we open brackets, you see it wants to have a plane or center, and then a radius. And for example, center you define with zero points, like zero, zero, zero. And then we also want to find a radius like, I don't know, let's say pi or so, let's say six for now. And then close the brackets. You can test the script. And so far, nothing will appear, but you can, for example, assign A to it as well. And then uh, the output A would be the uh, Rhino script. And for example, here we see the thing. For example, that, that's how it is displayed here as well, <clears throat> just like any other normal Grasshopper script. Um, with that added, we can basically now use the inputs that are here, the X and the Y, uh, in order to play with that. For example, let's use a simple number slider of um, a certain amount of number, 1.6, and we input it in here. So right now it's in the Grasshopper script, but in order to use it, it needs to be somehow addressed. So for example, we have the six that we used here before, and we just change this to the X. And now we see the circle changed, and we see that the Grasshopper Python script reacts to our uh, input that we have. That gets very interesting. For example, if you um, wanna do the following, if we gonna add a Boolean toggle, or maybe we can add um, just another num number slider, or maybe 23, and then we make it a if function, for example. So if y, which is here, is smaller, uh, like this, right? Um, smaller than, let's say, 50, we are going to um do the following if more then this function would be true and then <coughs> in an else function it would be else so it would the circle would be added and then an else it would be how we do that this kind of cool I think it's going to like this. Uh, else, there would be just a generic circle, or we can do, let's say, a equal to uh, rs at maybe rectangle or something. Let's do something at rectangle. Let's see what it wants again. Plane with height. So the plane would be 0, 0, 0 again. 
um, maybe with the width of um, x and the height of hmm, let's say x as well. So, and now, depending, for example, we have the curve as an output now, but because we have the y input, the changes um, depend on if uh, y is higher than 50 or not. You will see if we change it now, it basically switches the circle um, to rectangle in this if case. So it basically goes in here, it goes if y is bigger than, uh, if y is smaller than 50, then it would print the add circle. Otherwise, if you go bigger than 50, this would not trigger and it would go to the other one. So, and then you have the output uh, in, in this case. What is interesting as well, if we have the printing capacity, um, we can also do a print um, this circle is now a rectangle and in that case we also have a certain output that is printed which is just shown in the out command for example also error messages or for example if we are missing this thing then there's an error message and this error message will be shown uh, in the output, output message as well. So that's basically just a very simple um, Grasshopper script, uh, or like a Python script in Grasshopper. So I'm also new to this, but I think it's very interesting to give the capabilities. And for example, uh, there is another um, thing called Ladybug, which basically takes uh, a lot of the information or weather information and it's very useful and we will get to this in another tutorial and here for example we want to for example th that is about uh, wind calculation in a form of height and when you double click on it it will basically open a gigantic um, script that you see and this script is basically directly in Python made so it basically helps you as well to, to, to understand the the Python commands in in those other cases. So it's not just useful for making your own scripts, but also understanding other Grasshopper scripts that uh, exist in, in other ways. So yes, um, hopefully you can maybe take something from it, and we can change circles to rectangles and back and forth. So nice. See you next time. Bye-bye.